some changes coming to this channel. Um, I'm really stoked about it. Some stuff that I really wanted to implement a long time ago, but I just, I didn't for some reason. And I think it's something that you guys are really gonna enjoy. So uh, I'm excited for that. But before we get too far into it, uh, I do have some tools that I recently purchased. Uh, a lot of these tools have been in previous toolbox tours that I've done, uh, but there's also some tools that I'm gonna show you guys today that haven't been in a toolbox yet. And so I'm I'm really stoked. And throughout the video, I'll kind of go over some of the changes that you can expect from, from this channel moving forward. Uh, I'm really Really, really excited about today's video. So let's let's get into it. Uh, now, a while back, I went to Justin's shop. He works for Chevrolet, and he had the brand new white Arca series from Cornwell, and he had these in his tool cart. And then what's this there? Uh, right here, this is a T handle. Uh, this is a 3/8 drive, and it's a spin handle. This is weighted so that you can hold on to that and spin, reaching deep down into engine bays. Now these are a weighted T handle, and uh, really awesome. They have bearings in the handle, and they're adjustable, so you can go to different different heights. Um, this one's a 3/8 inch. This one's quarter inch. The ones that were in, uh, in Justin's box, they were bought straight from Matco. They sell these for a pair for 150 bucks. I bought this exact set. It's just a rebranded set uh, from Amazon uh, by Sonex. And this was 50 bucks for both of them. Um, really awesome. I could see these being really handy. It's kind of like the same, same idea as like a, like a speed handle, uh, like the old school speed handles that you used to see. I really like it because it's weighted. And so if you have a bunch of really low torque bolts, Super handy, especially because they have both quarter inch and uh, and three eighths. It does come with this really cool blow molded tray. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if I'll end up using it because it kind of looks like it takes up a lot of space, but uh, but really cool. And I'm I'm really glad that I found these for a lot less than you know what they sell for at Matco. I haven't seen these in in any other toolbox, so I, I just wanted to share these with you um, because really cool. Now uh, these vampires have been featured on this channel several times in the past. I I, I love these. These are you know just have the opening on the on the very tip these are great for getting stripped out screws and stuff like i said i've had these on my channel several times and i've mentioned that these are made by engineer but one thing that i haven't seen very much of in other people's toolboxes are other pliers that are made by engineer um, and so i picked up a few so these are all made by engineer this is the needle nose pliers that engineer makes and all of these are made in japan um, but basically these are the same same principle these have the uh, um, the opening in the end to help take out strip screws same deal on these needle nose, except these are uh, for tighter access. And uh, for even tighter access, I have these mini mini pliers. I got four different sets. And like I said, this is kind of the same, same principle, it has the, the little opening on the end, and it lets you get into really tight areas. I, I would imagine like if you're taking apart a module or something, and you have a strip screw, which happens a lot, this can kind of get in there and, uh, and take out strip screws. Um, these two pliers here, I, I don't know, they look really cool. Um, this one has a really, really tiny tip. So if you get into an area where you don't have much access, these could be really handy. And then these also, these are assisted opening. Same kind of deal, very, very small tip and uh, great for really tight areas. And then they also have these flush cuts that are assisted opening with the spring. And uh, just, just really cool set that I haven't seen in very many toolboxes. I like them because they're made in Japan. They're fairly high quality. And uh, I think they'll really come in handy down the road. Not too long ago, I did a toolbox tour with Danny and uh, he's a GM technician and he had this in his toolbox. This thing's another thing that's super cool. This goes in your cigarette lighter and then it gives you a power and a ground. Once you put it in your cigarette lighter, it's really handy for interior work because this little light bulb will light up, letting you know that this has a good power and ground connection. And so whenever you're doing interior work, a lot of you guys know, just like I do, a lot of the bolts on interiors can be painted. And so it's kind of a pain to find a good power and ground uh, source. But if you have this little guy, really cool, really inexpensive, and it just gives you a for sure power and ground to work off of. So you're not having to guess whether or not your little alligator clip has a, a good connection. It's just really easy, something quick uh, that you can throw in the toolbox for later. So yeah, had to throw on my Aurora heated vest because it's kind of freezing. Look how foggy it is out there. Like that's not like exposure. That's like legit fog. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Are you guys seeing? It's like this, it's like this is ice. <laughs> I recently bought some dead blows. Now. <laughs> I don't need this many dead blows. This is ridiculous. <laughs> but it was a set. Like I can, I can break it up. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can buy these individually. But um, I'm just uh, these look so good. Right? Look how you see my breath. I mean, it's kind of cold out here, but it, oh, it's like an ice box. Bought these straight from Tecton. Awesome. So if you don't know, Tecton sources all of their dead blows straight from Trusty Cook. And if you don't know who Trusty Cook is, they're like one of the leading uh, manufacturers of dead blows in the industry. 
made right here in the United States. And a lot of manufacturers rebrand their hammers um, from Trusty Cook. Um, so this is Tecton set. Now, uh, like I think you can get this hammer straight from Matco, just this one hammer for like 150 bucks. I decided to go with Tecton uh, versus just going straight to Trusty Cook. I think I could have bought this entire set from Trusty Cook direct for about $10 less. Um, I went with Tecton because Trusty Cook has a warranty on their dead blows for two years. Uh, Tecton, lifetime. So I can go to their website within the next, I don't know, if I mess one of these up in 30 years, and uh, all you got to do is send a picture in and they send me a brand new one. They cover shipping and everything. So I, I don't know. It was just a win-win for me. Ten bucks for a lifetime warranty. And uh, honestly, Tecton Tools, I don't know. I'm coming around to them. They got, they got some good stuff. Um, but yeah, solid. Like, I don't know what I need this for. What is this? Come on, people. Really, really. I'm sure maybe someday I'll use it. But no idea what I'll use it for. Huge set, and it'll be the last dead blows I ever have to buy, even though I didn't really need all of them to begin with. This next set of tools, really excited about. Um, it's by LTI Tools, and it's the same company that makes this set. I featured this, on, I don't know, a couple of videos ago. Um, it's for getting oxygen sensors out using an air hammer. Um, but but this this set, it's a, it's a rethreader for uh, brake lines. And uh, if you've ever been in a situation where like the brake line is just a little bit corroded or just just not quite as smooth as you want them to be, this set definitely come in handy. Uh, Mike, uh, I did a toolbox tour with him. He had the great big blue box. Though the, He had a tank in his shop, him. I can't even, like there's just a tank. There's a tank in his garage. Uh, he turned me onto these, so thank you, Mike. These have the, uh, the ability to, to thread the inside of the line here, as well as the outside here. Solid set, made right in the USA. I'm just really excited to see these because this is stuff that could really help other people out if they knew about it. Like I didn't even know stuff like this existed. So LTI Tools, definitely a cool company. And they also have uh, a set that can uh, rethread like power steering lines and uh, uh, like transmission lines, stuff like that. I'll leave that stuff in the description for you guys as well for you guys to check out. So holidays are coming up and I do a lot of my shopping on Amazon, just like a lot of people do. And But for me, it's kind of dangerous because I start finding stuff that I really want to buy and I'm like, oh my God, it's on sale. So I got to buy it. This is a uh, Teslong. If you guys are familiar with this brand, I've been holding off on buying something like this for a while and uh, this is now on sale and there's a $20 coupon so I, I was like I have to buy it so this is the uh, the bore scope with the 1080p screen high definition screen and it has the uh, the articulating uh, tip at the end there look at that freaking cool right love it so um, yeah I picked this up it was 90 bucks shipped to my door like I, I, I couldn't believe it. So it's a 1080p screen and you can record and take pictures with it. The end has a nice bright LED on it. Like I said, it articulates and stuff. Really cool when you get in like really tight spaces. Um, it also has a 32 gigabyte SD card that just comes with it. Like usually those are pretty expensive and it just, it comes with it. So definitely a plus there. And um, I, I can't believe they're this cheap. I, I swear like not too long ago, they're like 250 bucks. And like I said, this was 90 bucks. But since I got you guys here with me, I got an old intake manifold here. I'll just show you real time uh, what it looks like when you do shove this into like an area and what you can expect. So I've got it in there. That's going out the throttle body and that's looking down at the runners. And I mean, I can go even further, further down and then look all the way back up. I mean, it's just, it's so cool. I can imagine using this going in like a wall. Um, I had to go and look for some water damage in our house one time and I was making like 13 holes because I couldn't see. My bore scope only had a line that would just go up and it wouldn't you know, articulate at the end. So I'd have to make a bunch of holes. This goes all the way around. Like I just, I'm so excited to use this. This does have a, you know, a semi rigid line. So it's not like all floppy everywhere. So you can kind of push it into where you need it and then kind of, uh, you know, use this guy. <laughs> so cool. These next two tools are tools that I bought recently because I saw them in, in David's box. He had that massive Matco box um, and he worked at Honda, but he had these, uh, these ratchets and these are gearless ratchets that are made by Titan. Different versions. So this <laughs> is actually a, I think these are Titan. So okay. they're gearless. There's a quarter inch drive and then there's a three eighths inch drive and they're just, they're completely gearless. They don't have any teeth. And uh, the back drag on these is like next to nothing. Like there's, cause there's no 
no teeth in here. So if you're ever in a situation where you need very little back drag, these are your go-to right here. Thankful for David for showing us those. Also, David also showed me this printer, which I don't need. I didn't need to buy it, but I had to buy it because it was so cool. David printed out labels on all of his blow mold cases. And I was like, I have to do that. I have to. The biggest reason I want to do it, not, not only because uh, I think it, it really helps uh, productivity because you can, you know, you find your tools a lot faster. Um, because I don't do this for a living anymore, I don't reach for these tools every day and I lose track of tools on a daily basis. Like if I'm looking for my coolant pressure tester, I, I'm looking through my, my locker here. My locker is 30 inches deep and I'm pulling out like every blow mold in there just to find it. If, if it had one of these. Plus, I, I I don't mind spending money on stuff like this if I know I can use it for other things other than just my toolbox. Like it, it just makes me feel less guilty about buying stuff. So uh, thank you, David, for giving me a reason <laughs> to buy this. I don't need this, but it's so cool. So that brings us to some of the changes that I want to implement on this channel. Um, I get a ton of inquiries from you guys asking me to, to go out and check out your setup. And I'm, I'm so fortunate, so grateful for that. You guys are such a great community of people and I'm, I'm so grateful to be a part of it. But there are a lot of times when I'm not able to make it out or maybe there's a scheduling conflict or maybe the shop that they work at isn't uh, comfortable with me going in and filming. It's, it's totally understandable. For example, check out Todd's setup. Shout out Todd. He's down in Florida. Um, I, I really want to check out his setup. Like he's got an awesome, great Epic filled and organized with tools. Hopefully one day I can run down there and meet him. But, uh, I, I want to try to give others a chance to be on this channel. Um, and so what I want to do what I want to try to propose anyway, if you want to share your setup with everybody, you can send me a two to three minute long max video. Um, and I will create a compilation video of like four of those toolbox tours that are submitted to me. I'll post them on this channel. You guys will vote for who has the best toolbox on that video. And that person gets a brand new ratchet. This is the FHL D80 straight off the snap on truck. And what, what's up buddy? <laughs> Dude, it's so cold out here. You don't even have shoes on. Let's go inside. Okay, sorry, I don't know where I was, but uh, yeah, I want to create this new series and basically I want to try to give more people a chance to be on the channel, but I'll have a Google form in the description for you guys to look at. It's a place where you can submit your toolbox videos and uh, just a couple of questions for you guys. And also it'll have some guidelines for the video. Like you want to have it in portrait or landscape mode. So the phone's on its side, have some you know decent lighting, adequate audio, but please, if, uh, if you guys do, um, I'm making a video. Yeah. Love you. Um, if you guys do submit a video, Hey dude, can you close the door? Cause it's so cold. It's so cold, dude. Close the door. It's too cold. <laughs> hey, you tried to hide from me. If you do submit a video to me, there's going to be a field at the bottom that says, uh, what your email address is please leave a valid email address down there so that if you do win this ratchet, I have a way of contacting you. If, if I just make a post and saying you won, please contact me. I'm going to have like 30 people emailing me their address of where I should send this ratchet. So please enter a valid email address. This is something I just want to gauge interest in. If it's something that, that you guys really like and really want to want to see more of, I'll continue to do it. I don't know if it'll be weekly or monthly, but uh, I'll try to continue doing it. And, uh, I'll be able to give away a bunch of a uh, bunch of ratchets. But if you have a box and you want to be featured on this channel where I go to you and make a video, um, you can hit me up on Instagram or just send me an email. Till the next one. We'll see ya.